All right, week seven starts tonight. You know, um, obviously because it's Thursday night football, I'm not. I'm not even gonna try to watch that because you know it's Browns. It's Thursday night football. So the Chiefs and the Broncos start off tonight. The Broncos won two straight. Chiefs lost two straight. Um, it's probably going to be a defensive slugfest, maybe. I don't know. The Broncos' defense is something. They are something right now. Um, but the Chiefs, if the Chiefs get rolling, I think they'll handle the Broncos, no problem. Um, Raiders-Packers, now that is going to be interesting. We haven't seen the Raiders um, in a couple of, you know, at least a week, you know, two weeks. Um, this is going to be really interesting. You know, the Packers coming off a of, Big, undeserved kind of win against the uh, Lions. You know, and I think you know Gruden and all his cats down there. They're going to like, give the Raiders a run. They're going to get the Packers a run for their money. So that'll be a good game. Uh, that'll be the first game that you all should be looking looking on. You know, uh, Rams Falcons. Who cares about the Falcons? They are. Completely irrelevant. They are completely terrible. They just find new ways to lose every week. You know, it, it, it's it's pretty tragic. But talent, the, the talent, and actually, it's really you know, it, it's really the talent that both these teams have. You know, obviously Jalen Ramsey's now an a LA Ram. You know, uh, but the talent that both these teams have, they're squandering it in more ways than one. Squandering it. It's gross. Uh, the 49ers Redskins. Now, the Redskins are still terrible. Um, just because, you know, you can beat the Dolphins does not mean anything at all. You know, I think the 49ers is going to take care of the Redskins. Easy peasy. Texans Colts. That's going to be one of the more interesting games of the day. Deshaun Watson, Jacoby Brissett. Um, really interesting game, I think. Um, that'll be one of those underrated gems that you got to watch. Uh, Vikings Lions again. Um... You know, the Vikings are coming off a good high, and the Lions are coming off a low, a big low, you know. And it's really, really going to be a dogfight, I think, you know. Um, obviously, you got Matt Stafford, you know, and all the all the guys around him down in Detroit. Um, and the Vikings, you know, if Kirk Cousins, you know, keeps doing what he does, and that's throwing the ball, Thielen and Diggs. And give the ball off to Dalvin Cook. I think you know the Vikings will handle it easy. But the Lions, they are no slouch. They are no slouch. You know they they do what they do. Uh, Jags, Bengals. Who cares about the Bengals? The Bengals are terrible. Let's let's not even try and defend that. You know the Bengals are just absolutely terrible. Jags are they're they're just kind of there. You know same thing with the um, Cardinals and Giants. This game is just kind of there. Um, but, I mean, the Cardinals have won a game, you know, at the very least. Um, so are the Giants, you know. It's going to be something. You know, the Dolphins, Bills, um, again, you know, it's the LOL Fins. So, I I, do, I, I, I really think the Dolphins are going to go with 16. So, I mean, it, it, there's there's nothing that can save the Dolphins right now. I think they're going to go 0 with 16. Chargers, Titans, you know, Marks and Mariota, no longer – Quarterback, so whoever is stepping up, stepping in, I believe it's Ryan Tannehill. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't care, because um, it's a Titans. Titans just they, they they have their own problems right now. I just I just don't know. The Chargers are also very inconsistent. So um, yeah, that that game is just kind of there. But then we get to the real nitty gritty. That's the games at three twenty five. The real nitty gritty Ravens, Seahawks, Bar Jackson, Russell Wilson, Ravens defense, Seahawks defense. Boy, is that going to be some good stuff right there. And then, of course, Khalil Mack and the Bears taking on Teddy Bridgewater and the Saints. Boy, boy, oh boy. This is going to be good. Both of these games are going to be good. I can guarantee it to you. I can guarantee that both of these games are going to be good. I I mean, good lord, is there going to be some? There's probably going to be some defense in the Saints Bears game. That game's probably going to be low scoring. Uh, the Ravens Seahawks, on the other hand, I don't know. It could be low scoring, it could be high scoring. It just depends on how the two defenses play. 
in that game. And then, of course, you know, uh, well, uh, God, look at that Monday night matchup. It's on my screen right now. Um, Patriots, Jets, absolutely disgusting. This is, this doesn't even matter, you know. It, it, we all, we all know that the Cowboys could have beat the Jets. They could have. They could have just blown them out the water, but they played down to their competition and lost. So, but Patriots, Patriots will have no trouble with the Jets. It's the Jets. The Patriots feast on the Jets. So, and then finally, the last game here that we got is going to be the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday night. The real game of the week. Not that Monday night football crap. What is that? It's disgusting. But yeah, the real game of the week. Eagles, Cowboys, both teams are very inconsistent. Um, they, they know what they want to do. They know what their identities are. They know what they want to be. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to hold it back, you know, against my boys, against my Cowboys. We are just not that great. Uh, right now, we're ra- we're rattled with injuries, and so are the Eagles. Apparently, they're just rattled with injuries. They've already cut Zach Brown too, so um, linebacker, which I will continue to bring up because that's pretty funny that he <laughs> that he talked all that nonsense and did got cut for it. Uh, but yeah, both these teams are really just kind of inconsistent. Um, you know, Dallas's defense has been rattled by a couple injuries. You know. Uh, and just just poor play in general. So the Eagles poor play on defense. You know, not enough offense. So I don't know what in the world this game could be. It could be low scoring. It could be high scoring. It could be a dogfight. It could be a blowout. Who knows? It's the NFC East. It's it's a perfect way to end your Sunday. It's a perfect way to end the only day I watch NFL football because Thursday night. And Monday night, those aren't disgusting. That is disgusting. That is the disgusting for football. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll make another video sometime explaining why I only watch NFL on Sundays with the occasional uh, Thursday game or or Monday game in there. Basically, I only watch Monday night football if it's Cowboys. That's really it. Uh, but. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, week seven, right around the corner. Of course, you know college football started up last night. There's games tonight. There's games tomorrow. There's game Saturday, of course. Then, of course, you know the NFL takes up all my time on Sundays. So that is going to do it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm going to get on out of here, ski daddle, and do something else for the time being. So that being said, peace.